morning church um, uh, this morning um, as I sat there I I heard someone saying that I need to have my name transferred to Central Church because Pastor Imolo is going out so I need to have my name uh, come in here um, I'm already a member of Central Church Amen. I'm already a member it's those of you that are new uh, that forget old members I'm a member of Central Church so when I come here even these things you do service requests we just have to do them to be seen to be following order of the church otherwise I'm a member of this church yeah, I don't have to doubt that. Don't go and consult church clerks whether my name is there or not. They were not there the time we, we became members. The point is, um, I got baptized in this church. Yeah, Ruben, before you were born. I got baptized behind here. I was just new coming from the Roman Catholic Church then. Uh, you know, I've always wanted to be an altar boy. You know that thing of being near Umupatili? I used to like that thing. Yeah, I, I used to like that thing. Those people that helped the priest and just the thing of being asked, bring this, bring. Do this, you do. I really wanted to... to but one thing happened. Um, we had Father Joseph from Kaparu Mission. Um, so he told me I was unable to recite, you know, that longest prayer? That one. Those of you that are like me, who are from there, um, I'm getting some echo. I don't know which one. Uh, okay, okay. Okay, that's fine. So he told me, you cannot be baptized because you are failing to recite the prayer. And that's how I failed. And that's how I didn't become a Kampenga. Uh, that's how I lost it. So I got baptized in this church. Then I got married in this church. I remember vividly marching from this side. Yes, then my wife, that one, because we've not changed. <laughs> Because there are people that have changed. Yeah, and we don't know where they took the others. But that same one. Uh, she was there with the father, and then I walked from here. You know, those, whoever introduced that thing is not good. You know, there's a lot of pressure from here walking up to there. And a lot of you are busy taking pictures. It's not, it's not easy to walk. Uh, you are sweating in the palms and... Uh, then number three, I began work from Central Church. So the larger part of myself is Central Church. So each time I give stories about Central Church, it's not because it's just a church in Zambia. There's a lot of attachment to Central Church. Uh, so let me not say what I was almost about to say. But I'm a member of this church. I'm a member of this church. We... We enjoyed ourselves during the week and um, we are ending our Pathfinder week of prayer and we praise God for, for giving us an opportunity to come here. Uh, my, my former board chairman, my employer of Central Church called me that I should come here for building promotion. But then I think you know building committee takes a lot of time to write. But then the youths did some Pathfinder ring so their thing came earlier. So building promotion could not work. So just look for money and begin building. <laughs> so this morning, my brothers and sisters, um, as we get to study the word of God together, shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus now, may your son be lifted. In his name we pray. Amen. Um, I know that you end your service as, at 12. Is that okay? Yeah, at 12. This is on assumption that you begin preaching at, at 11. 
so that is one hour so if you've turned your, your mathematics <laughs> mathematics very well if 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 11 to 12 is equal to one hour then 11.30 is equal to okay we'll not do that one we'll end at 12 don't worry we will get everything done by 12. our text is genesis chapter 27. genesis chapter 27 and verse 20. very familiar story genesis chapter 27 and verse 20. the okay i can hear the bibles are moving so let's move there genesis chapter 27 and verse 20. Is the church there with me now? Yes. Amen. Uh, where is Brother Chisanga? Very good. I need to see you there uh, when preaching. But Isaac said to his son, How is it that you have found it so quickly, my son? And he said, Because the Lord your God brought it to me. I am using New King James Version. What vision do you have there? New King James. Anyone with NIV? NIV? Ah, very good. What does it say on the last verse? NIV, stand my friend. Uh, you, you need to speak near me. That's where the mic is. 27 and verse 20. And then where is 20? Uh, then the last sentence. Aha. Uh -huh. The Lord your God gave me, me success to live. Okay. The Lord your God gave me success. Don't worry about my coming back quickly. God is involved. God is involved. Anyone with uh, amplified vision or new living translation? Yesterday we didn't find it. Can we get it today? Yeah, they are serious Adventists who don't like funny, funny Bibles. <laughs> Living translation, please, can you get it on your phone or on your tablet? Can you get it? Can you get this? Is the only time you can use your phone. Afterwards, you keep it. New Living Translation, you have it there. Please read the last part a, a, a bit louder since you sing. Is that 10 or baritone? Please stand a bit louder so that those outside there can hear you. The Lord your God put it in my path. It's like, I almost said it in vernacular. It's like you are walking on the road. He says, actually me, I had nothing to do with the thing. But the Lord, not even my God. The Lord your God put it in my path. And then who am I? Then I picked it. Our theme this week has been created with purpose. Now this morning we want to traverse the process of your journey to achieving your purpose. And that's where the issue is. In, in achieving their purpose, people do things. Please, I want you to say that one to your neighbor. In achieving their purpose, people do things. Do it now. Okay, let's try this one now. Including evil things. Very good. Now, follow me nicely. I just want to capture this thing. It's the whole story of chapter 27, but we don't want to do here and there and there. Let's get to the point. Isaac is old. He has his sons, Esau and, and Jacob. And you know, according to the purpose of God, who should have been blessed? Uh, okay, we're not dealing with uh, Hebrew. According to the story, Jacob should have been blessed because he was told he was going to lead the elder brother. But in the Hebrew economy, the one who should be blessed is the elder brother. <laughs> now listen to the conversation. So the father sits with Esau and says, I am now growing old. 
I want to bless you, but before I can bless you, please go in the bush. Bring me meat, game meat, not any other meat. Not any other meat. What meat? Game. game. Bring. Now, while he's doing that, the mother. <laughs> Please, if there is a mother nearby, tell them the mother. <laughs> ah, mothers are very nice people. You people. The things mothers do for their children, glory to God. Ah, these people, they brought, they brought us on earth, they sent us to school, they, all these things are around mothers. You know, she's not the only mother. There is another mother I like. She is found in Matthew chapter 20. That's, a, that's another thing I like. That's another sermon I like. Her name is Salome, the sister to Mary. You know what she did? She came to Jesus, the nephew. She must have been telling him, I don't know whether Mary, your mother, my sister, told you that we are sisters. But please, now that's a mother, please, in your kingdom, when you set up your government, when you be putting up your cabinet, this one, James and John, the other one, here, then Jesus must have been saying, uh -uh, I have how many? 12. Salome must have said, I'm not talking about 12. I'm talking about blood is thicker than water. This is not about disciple, mother told you. Mary and me are sisters. If that is true, you Jesus, these ones, my sons, they are your cousins. So the issue here is not church. If it is church, it is our church. So as you see to position people, please, blood is thicker than water. Wako ni wako. Mother. But let's leave that story. Let's come back to 27. So Rebecca is listening. And then she hears, no, when I've eaten, I want to bless you. He says, Jacob, quickly. Your blessing is going. Now that is spoken English. Your blessing is is going. Now that is spoken in my mother tongue. So I've put it in English. So that's the problem I have now. So your blessing is going. Please quickly come. Let us do something. In order to capture the blessing. If we don't do something, it is going. And not only going, it is going to a wrong person. You know that there are people, I don't know why, I think we we'll understand during the 1,000 years. There are people that think certain things belong to them and not other people. I had a friend of mine, one, one youth bought a suit. You know suit? Kwatifinemufwele, suit. You know these suits come from countries. <laughs> Except ours. <laughs> these suits come from countries. And so the young man says, no, no, the elder saw, did I say the elder? No, the other man. He saw the suit. And then he touched the texture. He says, hey, where did you get it? He says, no, when I was in school in the UK, then I got this suit. He says, man, these things are expensive. And it's a good quality. Little did the young man know that that issue of that suit got here. Following week, UK. How can this one, how can Malindi, how can Ruben wear such a suit and then me? No, it can't. So, back. And he made sure that when he came back, he looked for the young man. <laughs> you know, that thing. I got it. Actually, I got Three, just to make sure that he's leading by three to one. <laughs> ah, life. So the mother to, to Jacob says, come quickly, my son. Now follow, please. The father says, Esau, pick your weapons. Pick your quiver. Pick your bow. Pick your arrow. What does that mean? Game. Bush. And it's not a small job. You need to work to get the game meat. 
there are people that are not ready to work they are ready to collect in fact as you are investing and, and, and sweating for it they are waiting to collect from you Kabakule, we will share in the, in the thing so the young man goes in the bush then the mother says come this is what we are going to do now so you quickly now remember now here the mother says this must be done before Esau comes back and have you noticed that each time there is evil there is speed involved there is speed involved if we are doing a family life I was going to tell you a very weird story but we'll do that one during family life when there is evil involved there is speed involved those of us that have been that have seen or might have been involved in these targeted things when you are stealing if you are a robber you work with time within a certain time you must do things and run away because the police are coming evil things are ever in high speed quickly quickly he is coming and if he's never coming but it's he who is coming quickly do it now do you know where now jacob is going he's not going in the bush he's going in the crow go and get gods who can eat to gods who but it's when evil overpowers your mind your reasoning falls off balance you have mental dissonance go and quickly bring and bring and bring these things that we make and have discovered sometimes sin has sponsors <laughs> there are always people that are paying for sin there are always people that are encouraging you to do evil even when you are not interested the young man is looking for game in the bush on the other side the gods have died then the young man says mm, mommy how now do we give it to daddy because when we reach there <laughs> daddy knows that Esau has the skin has far it has it has hair has a hairy body he says ah, that issue of hair leave it with me <laughs> you remember when they were about just to crucify Christ they said this issue of his blood let it be upon us as long as the purpose is accomplished who dies in between is not our problem as long as we get what we want people can die in between but if we get what we want those who die will bury them and the dead know nothing so the mother says no, no, no. the issue of the the hair i'll handle that one so what are we going to do mommy bring so quickly quickly she prepared and then, now you take to your father he says no, no 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 the body skins bring skins and so they covered the skins very quickly and did everything and of all the things even the neck and there is a possibility that those skins came from the same gods and if the gods died that same day the skins had blood when people are determined to do evil they don't care the consequences I mean, you can imagine him walking to the father with blood dropping. In his mind, he has a purpose to achieve. As he gets to the father, he is going to introduce himself and says, Daddy, I have come. Okay, that's okay. But who has come? He says, I am Esau, your firstborn son why the detail if daddy is daddy the daddy the real daddy know the his sons and he knows that the moment you say Esau he knows his firstborn but why the detail each time there is evil there is a detail each time there is corruption there is a detail there is a page you need and by the way be careful with people with the stories each time you ask them something they must preface their answer ah, where are you from ah you you mean me <laughs> um 
you know actually on my way no it's not about on your way sometimes when evil overwhelms you you always think everybody else knows what you've done even you're walking it's like everyone is seeing what you've done that's why even sitting you sit like a security officer ever looking around i am esau your firstborn son you remember in school i was giving this story in the other church you remember in school many times if you ran out of points you're writing an essay when you run you ran out of points you remember how we wrote things without points you are writing on commerce what is commerce as we're explaining what commerce is then after third line the points have gone instead of writing commerce now you start writing english just writing 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 so that you feel the page then when teacher marks he gives you two out of 30 then you go to teacher teacher is not fair i have filled the whole page and you give me two then teacher will say of all what you've written you've only done two points my friend every time there is evil there is explanation every time there is evil there is a story to tell you know each time there is there is the truth involved you can even drink water you just say it the way then the father says mm. and this is the point for this morning you can forget everything else don't forget this one okay my son how come how come how come you found it so quickly my son because i know what is involved in the bush in the bush my son there are elephants there are lions in the bush my son there are snakes in the bush my son and not only that the animals in the bush my son when they see a human being they run away how come my son how come he says don't worry daddy the moment i reached there do you know how god works he's a god of miracles the late the late president of this country his excellence michael chilufia sata would put a bemba saying and he say lesa ni maliotola you don't pick that one i don't even know what it means but here is the thing friends we as children of god we can say so many things to people and blind them not with god so the father says how come my friend how come my son because the lord your god put it in my way he gave me success he gave me success how come my son and sometimes signals come indicating that what you've done is evil because we are determined to reach our purpose we are not ready to surrender that was signal number one how come my son signal number two the father says my son draw near if it were me i would have said no 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 daddy just eat then the other things we'll talk later but you know sometimes sin can make you stupid can easily forget so when the father says draw near my son so that i can smell you so that i can touch you his calculation as far as is concerned was at 100 percent he says if he touches here here we've dealt with it covered if if he touches the neck here we have done but i think him and the mother forgot to cover the voice there were no skins to cover the voice so the boy draws near come near that i may feel you my son whether you are really my son esau come near my son the guy drew near the father touched 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 says yeah i think it's esau signal number three he says mm -mm. but the voice is the voice of jacob some of us even when there is a signal coming that the thing you're doing is not right 
we keep going down the road because we are preoccupied to achieve our purpose signal number four the father is going to ask the question are you really my son Esau and he says yes I am at that point you didn't have told the father daddy is there something wrong why are you asking so many questions your job should have been to eat don't be asking questions again was didn't you say bring the meat signal number five the father comes and says okay instead of me just eating bring the food nearer me all those are signals to indicate to Jacob that what you are doing is not right he says bring it near to me that I will eat of my son's game the father even mentions I may eat my son's game Jacob should have said daddy it's not a game it's goat meat but he kept quiet why he has a purpose to achieve in life signal number six the father says come near now my son and kiss me what is the connection between eating and kissing he should have known and have discovered in the bible i think there's a problem with kisses Judah kisses Jesus and Jesus is betrayed. Jacob kisses the father and the father is betrayed. The other kisses, I leave them with you. <laughs> Come near now and kiss me, my son. And he came near and the father smelled him signal number seven as though to mean complete assessments the bible says then he smelled his clothes do you know why he's smelling the clothes because the mother gave him esau's clothes so when the father smelled the clothes he says yeah yeah, yeah. this is esau i think we are on the right course here is the issue my friend god is not only interested in your achievement god is interested in the process god is not only interested in your success he is interested in the how god is not only interested in the we've just won a tender which is very good but god is interested in the how leading to the awarding of the tender God is not only interested in your achievement. No, I have bought a plot. No, I have a house. That is good and we praise God. But God wants to go a mile. How, my son? Your friends are still digging foundations. Your friends are still putting one block at a time. But you, you started working last month, my son. How come? How come, my friends? Listen, my brothers and my sisters, it is not the end justify the means, but the means ought to justify the end. A lot of us friends have done weird things in the process to reaching our purpose. I came to tell you this morning that God is not all interested. You know, some of us have a gift of narrating our achievements to the church members that's okay and please continue doing that <laughs> you know we have our firstborn son that's okay but god is interested in the process how did that son come about because anyone who is a human and they are male and a female a child can be born you don't necessarily need to be to be one who is married no but God is interested in the software, the how. How, my son? And in the judgment day, brethren, when Jesus says in Matthew chapter 7, I never knew you. Get away from me, you workers of iniquity. <laughs> that verse is not for non church members. That verse is ours. All Jesus is saying is, 
<laughs> you've been coming and doing your things. You've been coming and doing your things. Let me tell you something, my friends. In the process of reaching your goal, a lot of us have done things and have injured people. When Esau came and says, Father, I have come. I have brought you meat. The father says, again. Who is that one who came? Who I gave and I have blessed him. The Bible says Isaac trembled and shook. Because in Israel, when a father like God, when you have blessed, you cannot retrieve. The Bible says Esau wept exceedingly so. I came to tell you church, there are some of us in the process of attaining where we wanted to go. People are crying. People are crying. Some of us have taken away the blessings of other people. And you have come to masquerade at church as having been blessed by God. Your God brought it to me. We have taken away. Some of us have stolen the marriages of our friends. We have stolen the relationships of our friends. We have stolen. And today, last month, I was in one country here in Southern Africa. And I was in a camp meeting. And I got a story of some, some man in the church. The daughter had a friend, a girl. Then the dad decides to go out with the friend to the daughter. And the daughter and the mother to the girl and the father, they were all in the community. And when I made a call, all of them came to the front. Which prayer should God answer? Listen, friends. While we are coming, praising God for the great things he has done for us, I ask you a question. How, my son? How, my son? Isn't Esau crying somewhere? Isn't Esau shedding tears somewhere because of your blessing? I came to tell you, friends, some of us in our journey to attain, to get our business, to sustain our positions, many people are crying in between. No, we've just acquired this car. I have just been appointed. I'm the new MD. I have done this. They have done this. Our business is doing this in between. And God is interested in both. When you reach at the end, God is interested in how you have come. How do we end this message? As we walk in our journey every day, brothers and sisters, as we journey to the kingdom of God, be aware God is interested not only in you arriving on the sea of glass, but how your journey has been. When the 144,000 appear on the sea of glass, one elder is going to ask a question, who are these? These are they that have come out of the great tribulation. They have washed their robes in the blood of the Lamb. But I came to tell you this morning, there are people right now that are going through the great tribulation, not because it is the end of the world, but because in your way to your kingdom, you are bruising people. You are bruising people. People are being injured every day. While you are masquerading with your blessings, somewhere somebody is mourning. Somewhere somebody is crying. Listen, friends. As we walk in our Christian journey, as we make our decisions every day, have an end in mind. As we walk in our Christian every day, have the judgment in your mind. As we make our Christian journey every day have the consequences in the mind. As we walk every day in our journey, 
have Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 13 and 14 in your mind hear the conclusion of the whole matter for God shall bring everything into judgment that's verse 14 everything every little thing whether good or bad I like the request of Esau I have never talked about this but I want us to pray using Genesis 27 verse 38 I want us to pray using that verse when Esau came he is going to ask the father a question that question is in verse 36 don't go there it's mine is in verse 30 he said okay father that's okay the blessing has gone that's okay I can't chase for it it has gone but he is going to ask a very fundamental question have you not reserved a blessing for me hallelujah Esau says daddy I know because of my carelessness i may have lost my blessing because of my talking my careless my desire for things i might have made a mistake in my life but daddy is that all haven't you just even a small blessing father i know he has taken it away don't you have even a little one father i want to go with something then verse 38 and yes i'll say to his father have you only one blessing my father i know maybe i took long hunting i know there are people that are quick in running maybe i was slow maybe i was slow father maybe i was slow maybe i took time in the bush but father forgive me maybe it's because of my anxiety and my desires maybe it's my mistake daddy please forgive me then he says father bless me also hallelujah bless me also i know i could have missed it on the way but daddy please bless me also oh my father and Esau lifted up his voice and he wept is it possible that someone is weeping while you are celebrating is it possible that somebody is shedding tears while you are rejoicing is it possible that somebody is complaining while you are rejoicing let me say this to the church be wary of people you mistreat the day god answers their prayer it comes down with fire and sulfur and brimstone beware of the people that you mistreat their father will not remain silent forever the bible says in daniel chapter 12 and verse 1 at that time Michael, that great angel shall stand up there will always be a time when god will stand for his people but in case you've been there child of god maybe a few things you might have done on the way we can come down like esau and say father is there just a little thing that has remained bless me also and when you read the bible you discover that the father blessed him even if the blessing was not equivalent to jacob he still blessed him we save a gracious god when we error he remembers that we are clay he can remord us again and give us the blessing restore our relationship with him you take away home god is not only interested in your achievement he is interested in the process in the how we get there and some of us may miss the kingdom 
not because we killed anybody but because the process is not straight the process is not straight today God can give you a new leaf to begin a new journey altogether I want God to clean my process and my journey as I move on as a pastor as I move on as a husband as I move on as a member of the church as I move on as a father as I move on in my journey I want God to help me clean my path I don't want to imagine people who are crying and shedding tears and complaining because of me maybe it could be my wife it could be my children it could be my my own my own relatives it could be your own spouse who is complaining every day God when will you answer my prayer today as I'll say his father is there not just one not even two how many just one bless me also shall we stand as we ask for that blessing shall we pray our heavenly father we thank you for the revelation of your word we thank you heavenly father because at a time and season when you see it fit you send your word to warn us and to awaken us many of us heavenly father can relate the story of jacob to our own lives we know heavenly father our passage has not been straight we know very well we know very well and the reason why we have not been captured is not because we are clever but because heavenly father you are giving us an opportunity to change we know heavenly father where we have been some of the places we have been some of our colleagues are in very difficult circumstances now because of things we did together but you reserved our lives some of our colleagues heavenly father where we have been they got infected with diseases and today they are no more they are in the graves we are not even sure heavenly father why we are still alive even when we go to the hospital and they declare we are negative ourselves we are even shocked and why we don't have it is because of your grace you know heavenly father there are things we have not declared to one another as spouses you know very well you know heavenly father but the reason you have not embarrassed us is because you are a gracious god you want to give us an opportunity to change and do things straight you know heavenly father some of the properties we have you know very well heavenly father you know the road is not straight you know how we got them heavenly father you know if you wanted today you are going to announce from heaven that here comes a thief but by your grace you've covered our iniquities that we can see the kingdom and because of this heavenly father we pray in the name of jesus may you enter our hearts clean up the system mop up our lives so that on that great day when you shall come heavenly father we may not be part of that number you will tell i never knew you get away from me you workers of iniquity that day heavenly father a lot of us will cry we preached in your name we prayed in your name but that day heavenly father you will tell us how about the process how my son how help us heavenly father as we break for lunch all of us to answer the question how come my son how come my son father we pray that we may not be like jacob headlong strong refusing to give up even when it was very clear that the father was speaking about his crookedness but father as we close isn't there just one blessing just one not even two heavenly father just one 
just one. We may have erred along the way, Heavenly Father, please. Is there not only one, just one blessing, one Heavenly Father, just one, not even many, just one. Yes, we've been there, Heavenly Father. We've made mistakes because we are sinners saved by grace. We've made mistakes, Heavenly Father. Lord, forgive our transgressions. One more time, bless me, Heavenly Father. Bless somebody in the church. Now, Heavenly Father, I'm going to keep quiet for a few seconds to allow your children to ask for a blessing. Just one. Father, they want to ask now in the name of Jesus. May you hear them as they ask for that blessing. Father, in Jesus' name, thank you for hearing us. And thank you for answering our prayers. And thank you for blessing us. Dismiss us now, Heavenly Father, not from your presence, but with your blessings. Because we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.